Well, here's the handsome trophy also, I would like to that will go to the winner of the final bout this evening between Emmanuel Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines and Seung Yuk Lee of South Korea. Well, promises to be a good one. Scheduled for 10 in the flyweight division. Manny Pacquiao, one of the hottest title prospects from the Philippines, now ranked number six by the Oriental and Pacific Boxing Federation in the flyweight class. And we are awaiting the arrival of uh, the protagonists. Jam-packed crowd here at the Manuela incredible Metropolis. Incredible crowd, incredible crowd. I mean, you know, you think it's a world title fight. <laughs> there comes Manny Pacquiao, the flamboyant darling of the fans. Well, he Sensational turned, little fighter. You know, he turned 20 years old just, uh, just a week ago. Manny Pacquiao, and he's a big crowd favorite here. You see the way he's greeted by uh, the fight fans. He's Manny got, Pacquiao. He's had 15 wins, only one loss, and seven knockouts. He's a flashy, very colorful fighter. He's got a knockout punch, and you see him there saying a little prayer before climbing the ring. Manny Pacquiao. He's a product of uh, this program, Asia Fight Night and Blow by Blow. Okay, let's go to ring announcer Bobby Mondeja for a brief announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the main attraction of the evening. Vintage Sports and Nazario Mondeja Promotions present the San Miguel Beer main event. This golden trophy was donated and to be awarded to the winner by former mayor of Las Piñas, and President of Manuela Metropolis, Alabang, Mr. Rezalino Riguera. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, introduce the boxers now. Come up on uh, the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 113 and a half pounds. Korea's rated number two flyweight. He has a record of eight wins, three by knockout, five losses, and one draw. From Pong San table Seoul Korea Seung Yul Lee <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen fighting out in the red corner he weighed in at 113 and a half pounds OPVF rated number six flyway PVF's rated number nine and Philippines rated number nine. He was born and raised in General Santos City. He is 20 years old. He has a record of 15 wins, seven by knockout and one loss. From Polding Korea Stable, Malabon City, Mani Pacquiao. Introducing the third man on the ring, referee Danny Rodenas. The judges, Ramon Flores, Father Martin Dalida, and Attorney Chris Odulio. I'd like to uh, introduce again our Oriental Pacific Boxing Federation champion, Rafi Montalban. And before we go on, I'd like to uh, call on the uh, Himig ng Montilupa and uh, 
Nan Sung Choi to sing uh, Korea's national anthem. national anthem. Dennis to call on the fighters. This is the round. You know the rules on foul. No head batting, no clinching. No head below the belt. If I say break, break. Okay, second. Manny Pacquiao, rated number 658 by the Orient Pacific Boxing Federation against Xiong. Yo Li of Korea, who is number two flyweight in South Korea. Pacquiao the Southpaw. Now you notice both these fighters starting this fight with hardly any sweat in their bodies. So they're hardly warmed up for this fight. Well, Pacquiao having a height and reach advantage very clearly. Probably a little more punching power. He's got seven KOs and 15 wins. The Pacquiao's three uh, in yeah. In eight. Ronnie Pacquiao's right hand way, way down to yes. his waist. And he's inviting the Korean actually to attack the left side of his body. Korean uh, obliged with the right straight. Yeah. Flush on the face of Pacquiao. Pacquiao with a flurry. Now, Pacquiao has a tendency to get cocky yes. during a fight. He and is. As a result, he gets careless. And the crowds add, contribute to that in some way. Korean goes in, connects with a good left to the side of the head. Pacquiao goes in. Now Pacquiao, I think, is looking for a knockout yes. to impress the fans here. But I think he should uh, be patient, show a little maturity and poise, work the jab. Pacquiao the southpaw. 
He's in the white trunks. And from General Santos Song City. Lee of Korea in the black trunks. That was a headlock. Yes. <laughs> if I ever saw one. This is round number one of a fight that's scheduled for 10. Pacquiao just flicking the right hand in, waiting to throw the left. That's his big punch. And that flicking right hand, I think, is a wasted motion because yes. it's not doing any damage. It's not throwing the Korean off balance. Good hard left by Pacquiao. The Korean was hurt. Pacquiao goes after him now. Korean battling back. Pacquiao has him against the ropes. Pacquiao a little wild with his punches. And he wants to finish him off early. But he's working to the body very hard. Cracks him with a hard right and a left. And the Korean is hurt. Well, the Korean is just being overwhelmed right now. But he's fighting he back. Yes. This he's Korean fine. just needs to regain his composure. But he's already bleeding from his nostrils. That's right. The Korean bleeding from his uh, nose, or from well, his nostrils. Pacquiao showing absolutely no respect for his Korean opponent. Now watch the left hand of Manny Pacquiao. Got a lot of hand speed. I tell you, Manny Pacquiao is good, but he's a cocky little fighter. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a crowd darling. Yes. And, and as a he result, he takes the crowd. He tends to get wild as a result of that. That's right, because he wants to throw his power bombs. So he's throwing haymakers. Instead of being patient there and picking his shots, End of he's round throwing number haymakers. One. And he smiles at the crowd. I mean, he's a grandstand performer. Yes, you bet he is. And he raises one arm as though in triumph now. This cockiness might work against him in a fight that will progress close to the distance, Ronnie. And it'll also hurt him when he meets a fighter who is astute. I That's mean, uh, true. who is mature and who is rated high. And, you know, there you see Mani Pacquiao throwing a number of yeah. punches. Some blows to the midsection, then he goes upstairs. Now, Pacquiao has not fought in five months. So you wonder if he's well conditioned to fight because of that ring rust. Dr. Nasser Cruz taking a look at the at the fighter in the uh, the Korean uh, the Korean boxer in his corner. Now it looks like there was a cut or some blood coming out of the nose. Well, the bell for round number two. I think this is going to be a short night as far as this fight is concerned. Well, Pacquiao hopes so. Now he got tagged that time. And Again, now the Korean is going a after cocky. him. Yes. Korean caught him. Now Pacquiao tried with a thundering left uppercut. Well, you know, it's a street ball. Now both fighters are not showing too much ring technique. It's a street ball. They're just throwing everything they've got. But this is not a good workout for Manny Pacquiao. Certainly not. If he hopes to scale the ranks of the Oriental and Pacific Boxing Federation ratings, he's got to show more technique, more poise. This is a street ball. Korean definitely in trouble. Well, the Korean is not showing too much offense. He's trying to fight back in flurries, but Manny Pacquiao is swarming all over him. Well, he's being overpowered here by Manny Pacquiao. The Korean now looks like a bloody mess. Pacquiao going after the Korean. Stalking him. The Korean's blood is on the face of Pacquiao. Yeah. You know, Manny Pacquiao is missing a number of punches, oh, too. He's, he's, he's so wild because he's looking for that power bump. And you know, that's the sign of immaturity. This, this boy has a lot of talent, but he's, he's got to be guided. He's got a lot to learn. And you put any halfway decent flyweight against him, he's going to get knocked out. That's true, because his defense is hardly there. And he's, he's an all-offense type of fighter. Terrible, uh, oh, well, referee Danny Rodenas interrupting the fight, calling him in ring position. There's a terrible Check. lump on the, the, well, the nose is obviously I think they're going to stop it. They're going to stop they it. They will stop it. They will stop it. I think his nose is broken. Yeah. It might be a premature ending here, but there is that huge lump. 
on above the left eye of the Korean. And he, he was just it was just too one-sided of a fight. Mani Pacquiao overwhelming his opponent and leaving the ringside physician, Dr. Nasser Cruz, no option but to stop the match. It was a massacre. But I'm not sure, Ronnie, if Mani Pacquiao learned from this fight. He did not. He certainly did not because, uh, I mean, he did things that you wouldn't want an experienced fighter to do. Uh, he's going to have to be a far more mature uh, at a time that, uh, you know, he's going to meet better fighters, better conditioned fighters. The Korean gets a hand from the fans. Manny Pacquiao wins. Embrace. There's a trophy being brought into the ring. We're waiting for a ring announcer. First of all, I would like to call on Mr. Uh, Riquera, former uh, mayor. The former mayor of Las Minas, who has donated a handsome trophy, to trophy being invited to enter the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute and 51 seconds in the second round scheduled for 10 winner by technical knockout Mani Pacquiao and Pacquiao getting a rousing ovation here from the big crowd at the Metropolis in Alabama, Montilupa 1 minute 51 seconds of round number 2 winner by technical knockout Mani Pacquiao uh, the referee called in the ring physician and the ring physician said the Korean fighter Shung Yo Lee was in no position to continue. He'd got a bloody nose, there was a lump above his left eye, and uh, he was a beaten fighter. Well, that's the story from Manuela Metropolis in Alabang. We'll take a break and wrap it up for you in a moment. Thank you, see you. Good night.